Good afternoon from Bangkok, Thailand. Today I'm going to talk about a few things that have surprised me in specifically Bangkok as a foreigner. So I have a little list here and I'm going to get right into it. Number one is that the traffic is insane. I have been in so many traffic jams. And for that reason, I get to point number two, there are so many motorbikes. I did not expect this and they kind of weave between the cars and weave between people and weave between each other. Uh, so I've been actually taking motorbikes as a mode of transportation apart from the SkyTrain, which is really nice, which is point three, really clean, really lovely. Um, BTS system, well, which is like a monorail sky sky train thing. That aside, I've been taking a motorbike a lot, and the first three times were really exhilarating and nerve wracking. And then the fourth time, I burnt myself on my leg. I'm not gonna show you the burn wound because it looks horrible. It hurts so much, I can barely walk. And I went to the pharmacy to get a sterilizing kit and get some antibiotic cream for it. So it's really serious and I have now learned that you climb off from the left side of the motorbike and not the right because the exhaust pipe is on the right and that's where I burnt myself. So not, not good, very painful. The next thing on my list is it's interesting for me to see that there are small shrines everywhere with a lot of fresh flowers and I've seen some people actually like do this and bow nearby the shrine and it's just like on street corners and at different buildings there's a whole lot of different shrines. I'll see if I can put a picture in here if I have one. That's been really interesting for me to see. Next point is that everyone is extremely hospitable. I was walking in the street and this guy who was the owner of the foot spa that I just went to came out and he said, where are you from? Can I help you? Is there anything you need? I said, no, I'm good. He's like, well, just around the corner, there's like a tourist shop with cheaper prices and it has souvenirs that you can't get anywhere else for that price. So you need to go Trong Pai, go straight Leo Sai, go right, Leo Kwa, go, go, go right and Liu Gua go right again. So I'll put the video in here. Trong Pai. Liu Gua. Liu Gua. Lao Gua Liu Gua. Lao Gua Liu Gua. Khop Kung Ha. And he was just so kind to help me. And then on my way to that store, I stopped um, at a intersection and I was like, I, I stopped a bit too fast. So it looked like I was gonna walk. And this guy just put his hand like this to kind of prevent me from walking over the road because there was a car. He didn't touch me or anything, which I appreciate. And he said, oh, be careful. And where are you going? Can I help you? And he helped, he walked me all the way to the store I needed to be at. Next point is there's a huge discrepancy between rich and poor. And this reminds me of South Africa a little bit. So the rich people are super rich. I've been to shopping malls like Icon Siam and Siam Paragon and sent what is it? Central Embassy. Those are really big shopping malls. And the first two floors are just Chanel, Bulgari, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi, Dior, huge fashion houses. A uh, crazy, crazy gap between rich and poor. And then you'll turn into this little alleyway and you'll see somebody crouching on the side of the road asking for money. And just the poorest of the poor with the richest of the rich in this huge city of Bangkok. Similar to that point, there are malls everywhere, at least in Bangkok. There are so many malls in the concentrated Siam area. I am exhausted. I am so tired of malls. I don't want to see another <laughs> mall again. That's not all I'm doing. I've been to some museums. I've been to art galleries. I've been out eating Thai food, um, been traveling, been to a music festival, but too many malls, too many malls. Okay, something I'm having problems with is that all of the food is either spicy or has fish or has seafood. I cannot eat fish or seafood and I'm really sensitive to spicy food. So I was expecting today's lunch of somtam, which is mango salad, uh, to be a mango salad and not full of spiciness 
and anchovies and stuff so <laughs> that was um a challenge for me it was extremely spicy and i mostly ate the sticky rice which was delicious and i can also not eat sugar because i have some serious bacterial infections sugar makes these bacteria grow so i'm not allowed to eat sugar and something else that really surprised me is that pad thai has nam tan which is sugar i did not know that they put sugar in pad thai because Thai cuisine in South Africa does not have sugar in the Pad Thai. Next point is that this is more of a cash-based society than I thought. There are quite a few stores that don't take cash at all. So there's one, it's called Photo Club Bangkok in Charong Krong area and they develop film and they sell film cameras. I've already filmed, uh, filled up two disposable cameras worth of film like 40 50 photos 50 60 photos and they don't take card at all so i had to walk to the nearest atm and withdraw some cash and all of the tuk-tuks obviously are all cash based some f uh i think the pharmacy was like we can only take your card if you have or if you're paying more than 500 baht which i was paying like 85 or 200 baht and I, they couldn't take my card so very cash-based society another thing is with my burn wound which is looking horrible i wanted to go to a clinic or a walk-in doctor that doesn't really it's not really a concept here in bangkok people usually go to the hospital for those things and for me as a south african the hospital is like for serious stuff and you go there for operations or serious consultations you don't just walk into a hospital with a burn wound and be like yo can you fix my burn wound you usually go to a pharmacy or a clinic uh so that was interesting for me when i went to the reception at my hotel and i told them i had a burn wound like it's getting infected can i should i go to the doctor they're like no you should go to the hospital so that was interesting uh, another thing is you can easily bargain here with a tuk tuk if you speak Thai. If you speak English and you are Farang, Westerner, they are going to charge you insane prices for the tuk tuk, which is the little. I'll put some video footage in here if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, they're going to charge you insane prices. So if you can speak Thai and say, Lop my dai, like, can you bring down the price? Lop my dai, you ask like two, three times, then they're like, okay, 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 just get in, get in, I'll, I'll reduce the price for you. And then another interesting thing is QR codes are everywhere uh, to scan, to pay, which I cannot use because I don't have the app and to scan for more information to scan for the hotel menu i am just seeing the most qr codes i've ever seen in a city uh and on that similar note people use line a lot which is like whatsapp or kakao talk line is so huge here that a lot of businesses use it and even my hotel reception has a little sign the concierge has a sign and it says we're on the app line so you can contact us online everywhere i'm just seeing ads for like call us online or message us online which is very interesting for me and then the last point is that everyone is still wearing covid masks and it seems like covid is still a really big thing in bangkok my one friend actually asked me to take a rapid test before we meet in person uh, usually people will share their spoons like or put their spoon in mutual food but now there's a separate middle spoon to scoop the food out with uh, and everyone is wearing masks and I'm also wearing a mask and I wanted to go to a temple, a uh, Hindu temple but I didn't have my mask with me that day and the guy was just like no mask, no entry which was surprising to me because in South Africa all of the COVID regulations have kind of decreased and we don't need to wear masks anymore I didn't expect other parts of the world to be so focused on COVID as well so those are all of my points of things in Bangkok that have surprised me as a foreigner and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one สวัสดีค่ะ